Hey guys, and welcome to another Quick Pi video. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up the Raspberry Pi camera with Apple HomeKit. The prerequisites for this video are you're going to want to have Hapdash Node.js installed. I'm going to have that link down below. Uh, working Raspberry Pi with a network connection, and as well as a Raspberry Pi camera that is connected to your Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So once you make sure everything's uh, up and ready, you want to run sudo raspi config click enter, scroll down to interfacing options, go to camera, enable the camera, click OK. Then you want to scroll down to advanced options, select memory split, and now make sure this is set to 128. And then click OK. Go down to finish. and then just let it reboot. And I've actually used my Pi over SSH, so it's disconnected. If you're just doing it over HDMI or such, just let your Pi reboot. And if you're doing it over the network, just like me, SSH, then once the Pi reboots, just connect back and we can continue with the rest of the setup. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the main installation script command. So type the command as shown on the screen. Uh, make sure you don't have any extra spaces and make sure you follow the case. So wherever it's capital and lowercase, make sure you follow that, that's crucial. And then you can click enter and it's gonna start the installation on your Pi. It's gonna take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes depending on what Pi you're using. If you're using a Pi 3, it's just gonna be about 10 minutes. If you're using a Pi 0, it's gonna be about 30 to 40 minutes. It also depends on your internet connection, but most people that shouldn't be a limiting factor. And once it's done, you're going to see an IP address. So next, you want to pretty much open a browser. So in my case, I'm going to be open, opening Safari. And you want to enter the IP address that is given. So in my case, that was 10.0.1.27. Then a colon and then 8765 and click Enter. This is going to open the Motion Eye interface, which is what we'll be using to configure our camera and its settings. So once you click enter, you're going to be presented with this screen, which is the Motion Eye interface. Mm -hmm. The username is just going to be admin, no password. And next, you want to click add camera, select MMAL camera. It should show up the video core camera and automatically bring it up. And now you're going to see a live preview of your camera there. So in the settings, you want to first enable advanced settings. Then scroll down, select automatic brightness under the video device section. Select the video resolution to be 1024 600. You can set the FPS to 30 frames per second. If you're on a Pi Zero, I recommend 20. Select, turn off motion detection because we are not configuring that in this tutorial. If you want to explore, you can set that up later. But next, you want to select 75% uh, video streaming uh, resolution percentage. Click apply and let it load. And so it's going to take about a few seconds. And then you should see the image of the uh, the image size should have changed. Then you want to go back to your Raspberry Pi and uh, go into your hap-node.js folder, which is cd hap-node.js. And next you can directly run uh, sudo node bridged core, uh, I'm sorry, sudo node camera core.js. And this is now going to start the HomeKit server for the camera, and you're going to see the hap-node.js starting. So if you follow the tutorial properly, you should be on the screen. Um, make sure you select the resolution and frame rates that are given. Uh, make sure not to defer from that or else the camera will not function properly in HomeKit. If you want to change the camera name, you can edit the uh, camera core.js, sudo nano camera core.js, scroll down and you will see uh, camera name. You can just change that to whatever you like. So in my case, I've already set that to bedroom camera. And now I'm going to show you on an iPhone device how to pair up the device. Okay, so now we've come to my phone to configure and pair the camera in HomeKit. You want to click Add Accessory in the Home app. If you're on iOS 11, you want to click Don't have a code or can't scan. If you're on the same Wi-Fi as your Pi, it'll immediately show up. Just click Add Anyway, enter code manually, and then enter the code 03145154. This is the default pairing code for my HomeKit tutorials. It's going to go through the process, and then you can select the location wherever you would like click done and then immediately you'll be presented with a picture of what's going on in the camera's view this is called the snapshot if you want to access the live stream you can click the snapshot but pretty much the camera is now paired with HomeKit and working with it so now if I click on the snapshot you're gonna see I get a live view if you're on a relatively new and fast Pi such as a Pi 3 you're gonna see that the live stream comes instantly if you're on an older Pi it'll take a bit longer, like 10 seconds on a Pi Zero W. But that's about it, guys. 
thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time going through one of my HomeKit tutorials, in the description below, I'm going to have a link that takes you to a text guide on how to have all of this start up when your Raspberry Pi boots in case the power goes out and all of it shuts down. So you don't have to worry about coming back to the Raspberry Pi and manually turning it all on. But or you've already followed any of my previous tutorials for hap nodejs and other Raspberry Pi HomeKit accessories, just make sure you add a new line, sudo forever start camera core.js, and it should completely start working. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below, or you can contact me on my Twitter DMs at quick underscore PI. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.